you got your motor back, we're going to go ahead and reinstall this. I'm going to start by plugging in the speed sensor, then the main harness, and then the main discharge wire. Now you want to take a little bit of time and tuck these wires underneath. There's plenty of room in the frame. And you just don't want to pinch any of these wires. So if you start with lining up this one, the rest should just kind of drop into place. There you go and you can see you're not really pinching any wires all three of your mounting bolts are lining up go ahead and reinstall the three mounting bolts Put the washer and the nut on, just finger tight for now. I'm going to go ahead and Grab my 13 millimeter open end wrench and go ahead and crank these down. I want these fairly tight, probably about 15 newton meters. So give it a good, give it a good crank with the Allen key. Last one is right here. Next, you're going to reinstall the little plastic cover. This just kind of pops into place, and then we got the three, three tiny screws. Wouldn't surprise me if these fell on the ground a few times, but let's see if we can get them. Alright, now that you've got the cover on, I'm going to go ahead and install the bash guard on the top. This just drops into place. You go ahead and use the smaller 3mm wrench on the front. And then the bigger 4mm ones on the back. These really are just holding on a plastic guard, so these don't need to be very, very tight at all. I'm going to go ahead and install the left crank arm. And the torque spec on this cap is very little. 1.5 1, 1 is the max newton meter, so it just needs to be just a little bit more than hand tight. Pinch bolts do need to be fairly tight. Go to about six newton meters on these, so give these a good crank. Now I'm gonna go ahead and spin the bike around and put the chain ring on and 
the right crank arm. All right, so the chain ring does need to be mounted on the inside of the spider. So take your time and work this around to where the chain ring is on the inside and not the outside. Then you're going to go ahead and put there's one that clearly goes on the back and one that clearly goes on the front. It can be a little tight to get these in here. In fact, this may be the most difficult part of taking this motor on and off is getting these chain ring bolts back into place. And let's go ahead and just get these finger tight for now and then we're going to go ahead and crank these down. Last one in here, and we're almost done. Very tight. Let's go ahead and give these a good crank, about six newton meters on these. It can be helpful to put your thumb on the back and hold the back nut while you tighten tighten the main bolt. Go ahead and throw the crank arm on and we're good to go. Now here's one thing to see. It will let you put these crank arms on crooked. So see how that's not perfectly straight. So just go ahead and line it up perfectly straight. Use your six mil to put the axle cap on. and your four mil to tighten the two pinch bolts. So this is the removal and reinstall of the M600 drive. This applies to both the X1 and the X2. It's the exact same steps.